Customer training in the standard support and tutorial such as the material. We will make the noise of subdual high grammar rather than other sciences. Pony remodeling. Subdual high grammar shows bony remodeling and organized shows does not show bony remodeling. Present family history of movement disorder. A marriage shows central high T2 signal within the both double parietal and background of January. Decreased signal within these nuclei. This is eye of tiger science union. Helen Warden, Spart syndrome. Central high signal within globus parietal and globus parietal themselves have low density, but central high signal. So eye of tiger sign, Helen Warden, Spart syndrome. 28 earlier men have alleged in the tail of both parietal gland. Top imaginated. Within wall cystic components, soil elements have minimal elements in mosaic and oil, but in two adults. 29. What would the word diagnosis of a client rather than epigrammatic? I just intend to see as if on DWI is in our crisis. 30. Thermogram headache. How many index stiffness you use with blood in the subarachnoid phase? What is the next most common symptom associated with subarachnoid hemorrhage? Vocal neurology. Patient has subarachnoid hemorrhage and then she's kind of blood in subarachnoid phases. What is the next most common symptom associated with subarachnoid hemorrhage? Vocal neurology. 31 series of cerebellar vermeal hypoplasia. Relatively normal cerebellum atmosphere and large CSS space surrounding the cerebellum. The brainstem is not disordered, diagnosis then you walk with variant. Because the brainstem is not disordered, there is no uh, hyperplastic posterior fossa. So then you walk with variant. 32 MR was two separate hemicord and two separate dural tube. Which type of split cord malformation is type 1? Two separate hemicord and two separate dural tube. Which type of split cord malformation is type 1? I'm not sure about other, but this is type 1. 233 ocular ultrasound shows egogenic posterior segment, mass of cortex deep appearance, top of blood flow within it, diagnosis, cord melanoma. Cord melanoma can be seen as cortex deep, you can see, you can see it button shaped, button shaped lesion, but the important thing is it has no top of flow within it and then the posterior segment of the eyeball, so it is cord melanoma. 34 which of the following period would support diagnosis of cardiovascular or cerebral atrophy, memorial pontile, distance of less than 1 cm. Now, hydrocephalus will show memorial pantyle and distance of less than 1 cm. Here in hydrocephalus. 35. MRI of the brain shows legend lying entirely within the covenant sinus, which can allow the deep like you to be involved. Then, covenant sinus, which, uh, which nerves passes 3, 4, V1, V2, 5, 1, 5, 2, 6, and covenant nerves passes in covenant sinus. When this involved, V3 is this involved. The third division of time is not involved. A pleasant is in covenant sinus. First, a progressive multifocal leukemia path is suspected, which condition is not known to be associated with PML, migraine. PML does not associate with migraine. Third, term, mid aid man has collapsed. CTs will increase the relation material within the plasma cistern, superior cerebral cistern, and cortical sulci, which condition is not associated with the light and line diagnosis. Milas. Milas. The mid aid man has collapsed. CTs can increase the relation material within the plasma cistern, superior cerebral cistern, and cortical sulci, which is diagnosed with subarachnoid hemorrhage. Then which country is not associated with the so what is not associated with subarachnoid hammer is Milas. Rest all conditions were associated with it but not Milas. Correct? Subarachnoid hammer. The interior headaches is a dual pattern of enlightenment and knowledge, which is the most likely to produce this pattern in the canon hypertension. And heading dual hypertension enhanced pattern of enhancement noted, most likely to produce this pattern is intracanine hypertension. The name plane skull radiograph width measurement is correct. The tip of the adrenal Process is 10 mm over McGregor 9. This is abnormal. The, normally, the tip of the abnormal pride process should be less than 5 cm above McGregor 9. But which is abnormal? The tip of the pride is 10 mm over McGregor 9, so this is abnormal. In chain, so which is abnormal, the tip of the abnormal pride is 10 mm over McGregor 9. Which all is normal? There are three worm bones, the largest worm bone is 10 to 3 mm. Bell angle is 125 degrees, bell angle is 130 degrees. But tip of the right back should be uh, less than 5 mm. 40 unconscious after near drowning, Joel called close coma scare was 5 into 15. Which immunity period was unusual for this condition? Several blood vessels which are appear dark relative to the brain. They are normally bright. In drowning, hypoxia, the several blood vessels should be bright relative to the brain. No, right. But here the abnormal finding, unusual is cerebral blood vessels which are appear dark in the Just there will be cerebral edema, rather great white matter distinction, the strain of the cerebellum, and generalized decrease of the attenuation of cerebral brain gamma. This patient is having hypoxia. 
for one suspected neuroparamatoid type 1, which would not be sufficient to make the diagnosis. Think of the long bone cortex and axial fracking. On NF1, not only these two findings, but we also have to have some kind of um, optic nerve glioma. And then, just all makes sense that uh, the affiliate parts, uh, the thin of long bone cortex and axial fragment, this is uh, not uh, sufficient to make a diagnosis of the NF1. Cystic lesion related to the crown of the anatomy of the most likely diagnosis. cyst. Cystic lesion with the crown of the anatomy of the diagnosis is dendritic cyst. For these three scans, the lesion is one in the corpus callosum and invading both frontal lobes. Element of the lesion, periphery of the material and inferior contrast medium, diagnosis, mangioma. Now, lesion in the corpus callosum and invading both frontal lobes, the enhancement of the lesion, periphery of the material and inferior contrast medium, diagnosis, and mangioma. Enhancement of the cortical inventory and most likely seen meningioma. This other option don't make any sense. Question 44 Fever, strip neck, and headaches. Here, sub studies will raise protein continuous error and predominant of polymorphic nuclear nucleoside and a low focus concentration. So, these findings strip neck, headache, increased protein, and then decreased glucose, this was bacterial meningitis. We will be most atypical amenic appearance for the most likely diagnosis. Bacterial meningitis. Hyper intense plaque on TWMR imaging. So, this is not going to be seen in uh, bacterial meningitis because this is not in bacterial meningitis. Just all may be seen. Question 45 regarding bacterial meningitis is not for plaques. Plaques may be seen in multiple sclerosis, but it is not seen in bacterial meningitis. 45 regarding arterial dissection of the head and neck, which of the point is incorrect. Vertebral dissection is common at C4 to C5 level. This is wrong. Vertebral dissection is not common at C4 to C5 level. This is incorrect. Question number 46. Bilateral proptosis. Three of bilateral anatomy of the extracranial muscles. The spray on the tendon. Spray on the tendon. The large bit of the extracranial muscles seen in which is even most likely to digest poses, which will be one effect to be affected the large of the muscles. This is uh, the pattern of environment of extracranial muscles in. Fibrils are is seen by I am slow. Inferior rectus, middle rectus, superior oblique, lateral rectus, and oblique muscle. Superior rectus and lateral rectus and oblique muscle is last. O is in last, so oblique muscle will be disaffected. For example, pregnant lady with headache and uh, focal neural deficit, series can to increase the nature of the superior sacral sinus. Following the administration of a trans contrast medium, the tubular surround and sinus enhances, but the sinus itself does not enhance. So the appearance would be unusual for this condition. No T2 signal intensity in 20 days. Diagnosis is tubular venous sinus thrombosis because after in pregnancy, common in pregnancy and uh, series will increase at the uh, supercellular sinus and then uh, the during sound signing is enhanced but the sinus itself does not do this. Uh, venous sinus thrombosis. Right? Now, what is unusual? Low T2 signal intensity in 20 days. After 20 days, there should be, I think, a high T2 signal intensity. So, this is unusual. Question 48 MRI shows multiple metastasis which affect the superior opiate visual. The optic canal and permanent ovale. Where the these likely to be affected? Second degree of first cranial nerve. Please pass it through permanent alternum. The metastasis and then affect the superior opiate visual, optic canal, and permanent ovale. So, I will be affected. Superior orbital visual structure will be affected and permanent ovale. But second given of olfactory nerve passes through the form of an so it will not be affected. That all will be affected. And then 49, CSO non dependent expansion mass within the middle ear with bony roll of the sigmoid sinus bed, scrotum and uh, ossicles. MR shows high signal on both T1 and T2 and parietal regions. And when cholecystoma it is acquired. Because it's high on T1, so cholesterol, so it is cholecystoma. Then it shows erosion of scrotum. Erosion of of sigmoid and scrotum, so diagnosis acquired was the tone. Number 50, C head to dilate lateral and third ventricle with normal size fourth ventricle, would be much like the converse uh, appearance, pain in loma, because it causes obstruction at the equiduct level. So there will be dilated lateral and third ventricle with normal size fourth ventricle, so it causes appearance by pain in loma. <coughs> 